Hi again everyone, welcome to Funko Pop Collect the Malaysia YouTube channel. Before we continue, please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, get, hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified of the new videos that are being uploaded by myself on this channel. Give the thumbs up like and do leave any comments, feedback about this video, about Funko Pop, any questions, any comments, feedback, anything at all, put it there. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing review of the pop you see in front of you. It's a WWE range. Uh, Funko Pop Hulk Hogan Special Edition. So this came out a few years ago. I mean, the original Funko Pop WWE range, there's a hundred odd figures in it now. Uh, of course, there's some Chase and multiple ones carrying the same number. But they have come out in the early, early days with two Hulk Hogan. And then went quiet. I mean, obviously he got suspended from WWE for some... Uh, so-called racial slurs or whatever uh, and then he came back and they've come out with this one and then they've just came out with the Wrestlemania with Mr. T uh, the double pack which I've also got which is a fantastic one but this is Hulk Hogan and straight away you see it you don't even need to see the name you'll know it's Hulk Hogan anyone that follows wrestling maybe doesn't even follow wrestling wrestling you'll know Hulk Hogan in his day when it was WWF in the 80s early 90s Hulk Hogan really changed wrestling. Uh, a lot of people these days will say, I mean, this CM Punk guy, uh, okay, yeah, he's a good wrestler, but he runs his mouth a lot, but he sat out for how many years already? Yeah, he's joined AEW, and he says this and that, and he could beat Hulk Hogan. But at the end of the day, wrestling, and sorry to break it to everyone, but wrestling is not real. It's entertainment. Uh, it's pre-scripted. And then this CM Punk says he can beat this, beat that. He went to well, UFC, right? Uh, he went there. What happened? <laughs> he lasted a couple of days and then he was out. So now he's backed into the acting of wrestling in AEW. So I'm not here to bash CM Punk, but I just don't like it when these guys come out and say this and that. I'm not a huge Hulk Hogan supporter, but at the end of the day, he made wrestling possible today through what he did there so now we've had John Cena, Roman Reigns, Undertaker come through people like that uh, but in his day this guy along with Macho Man and some of the others uh, Andre the Giant even before him were really there but going back to this pop this is one of the poses that we know when he was in his day I mean the red and yellow uh, but I'll unbox him in a minute this is number 71 uh, spin it around He's always got the bandana on and then I hated it when he got this feather thing and he wore this feather thing when it through the Hollywood. For me, that ruined it a bit. Uh, he lost a lot of his strength and power, it became a bit girly, I'd say, when he wore that, if, if I'm allowed to say that. But yeah, this is the real Hulk Hogan that we all know. And he was 71. And then obviously number 72, The Miz. They've only ever come out with one Miz. Uh, figure but Miz has been around for so long uh, underrated you've got Mean Gene Oakland one of the best or best known announcers Diesel who also came out in the Kevin Nash uh, persona as well the NWO and then you've got Naomi they came out with two there uh, one was the glow in the dark one uh, and then John Cena this one John Cena here they've come out with so many now I think of these ones they've the invisible one, which was a see-through one. But I've done some shorts, some reviews, some music unboxing. You can check these out. But if we go back to this Hulk Hogan, and let's take him out the box. And yeah, like I was saying, this is the real Hulk Hogan. Forget the black and white, even though that did change a lot. And then that feather thing he wore. I mean, I don't know whose idea that was, but for me, it was a silly idea. But straight away, this guy doesn't stand up. So that's the problem there. He's standing up now, but going to tip back. But you can see the yellow boots, white laces, red knee pads. Uh, here he's ripped, you can see. And the shirt is ripped, and you can see he's ripping it off. And it's got Hulkamania written on. It's really fantastic how he's ripping the shirt. And then the bandana with the blonde hair, blonde moustache, the brown eyebrows. And then HH, Hulk Hogan, Python Power on the bandana. So this one really great i mean this is a must for a lot of collections but funko yeah this guy doesn't stand up i can bend him forward but definitely doesn't stand up and there was no base in it and there's no base for there so yeah a little bit of a struggle so if people ask me why do you keep your pops boxed for this one i need to keep him boxed because he can't stand up 
but there he's standing up now. So yeah, this one Hulk Hogan, uh, not so much involved in WWE now. I mean, for me, it was a bit wasted. I mean, yeah, he made some controversial comments, but Vince McMahon, WWE could have used this guy a lot more uh, as a manager or something like that. You know, it would have been great, but it also depends on the guy as well, doesn't it? We always put blame on WWE, but the wrestlers are not innocent themselves. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, one of my favourite pops, just because of the nostalgic era of Hulk Hogan in the 80s, 90s, and then he went to WCW, came back to WWE, WWF, had the good fight, Icon versus Icon with The Rock. But, yeah, this is how we should remember Hulk Hogan. Uh, and this is how I will. So thanks for watching. Do remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.